Womp womp. I've got a flat tire. And I've already traced the issue down to this valve stem here. It's leaking around the base. And I was thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to take the tire back off to replace the valve stem and put the tire back on, rebalance the wheel and everything. But no, I actually discovered this. It says, quickly replace the tire valve without removing the valve from the wheel. That kind of doesn't make any sense, but we're going to try it out. On the back, we have some instructions. Number one is deflate the tire. Number two is you insert the T-hook and rotate the T-hook so that it hooks over the valve and pull it outward. Screw the new valve onto the push rod. It is recommended to apply lubricant to the bottom of the new valve. Align the positioning tube with the valve hole and fully advance the push rod through the positioning tube. Pull the push rod outward until the valve is installed and unscrew it to complete the installation. Let's get this thing open and see what's inside. So the thing that really makes this kit work is going to be this little forcing cone. I'm going to show you how that works in a minute. But we have this little hook handle thingy. Some extra valve stems, which we need. And here is the installation rod. This little twisty handle just screws right on and into the rod there. Now what it doesn't come with is some lube. I really like this super lube stuff. It's a multi-purpose silicone grease. It, it's kind of amazing. I'll put a link for this in the description below. And I'll have a link for this guy in the description below too, so you can get it if you need it. And of course I put some gloves on as well because I don't want to get super lube all over my fingers. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lube a little bit around the valve stem here. Now I'm going to take this hook tool and I'm going to try to poke it in around the valve stem. What the f***? Well, already kind of getting a fail here. I can't seem to get the hook in past the valve stem. The idea is you're supposed to slide this thing in and then give it a little turn and so it catches the edge of the hole there and you can rip the old one out. So I'm not so sure about that. I'm actually gonna to try to grab onto it with some vice grips and see if I can rip it out that way. There we go, got that piece of crap out. Now here comes the really fun part. I'm gonna take the valve stem cap off and screw it onto this rod here. I'm gonna thoroughly lube the end of the new valve stem. And now I start shoving this thing, the new valve stem down into the forcing cone. We put the forcing cone right over the hole and shove. The tricky part is holding the forcing cone against the hole while you're shoving. Ugh. Woo. All right, I think I got it. That was tougher than it looks. But now we got that on there, we can take that off slide the cone out give this thing a little tug make sure it's seated in there right and then we can unscrew it all right i'm gonna clean up all this extra lube here well let's take a listen do you hear any hissing do you do you hear any hissing not a I don't, I don't think you hear any hissing. Like and subscribe.